Sean Sewell with ingimmit.com. In the back of our awesome gym, Existence Athletics, here in Denver, Colorado, on a sunny, sunny day, testing out Costa's very new Paunch XL with gradient lenses. It's the first offering I've seen of the gradient lenses, so I got myself a pair, and I'm gonna show you all about them in this review. So, let's get into it. Starting things off with sizing. For reference, I'm about, about a medium-sized head or helmet. Uh, I find that medium-sized sunglasses provide good fit. These are a medium fit with extra-large covers. So extra-large is going to be the lens portion. So there they are, the lenses. And then there is the body of the paunch. I've already done a review on the paunch. It's my favorite sunglass from Costa Del Mar. This frame is called Fog. It's kind of translucent gray, fog gray is what they call it, and then the lens is um, the gradient gray as you can see right there. So not photochromatic, not transition, but gradient gray. So there it is right there. And also on this lightweight frame, you do get the rubberized no guard right there that will help stay in place when you are sweating or on water activities. They are still lightweight, although they are 580G lenses. There's also a polycarbonate version as well. They'll be even less expensive. These are about 230, 240 US, I believe. And the paunch just fits really well on me. It fits really well back here. That's not too much pressure. It's just wide enough, not too small, not too large. The coverage, the XL, I love the coverage. I have the um, paunch XL with blue lens, which I absolutely love the way it looks. But the gray lens, especially the gray gradient lens, the benefit here is this the most natural of all the sunglass lenses they make? Doesn't distort colors, uh, still has a 580 technology where it boosts some colors and blocks out some blue wavelength. Uh, and they're also polarized, so got you all covered for the safety, visual enhancement, all those things that Costa is known for. But then you also get the most neutral of lens colors. I have two other pairs of sunglasses from Costa that have these, the gray based lens, and I actually love them for the majority of the time because they. Cut down, I think 12% VLT, so letting in 12% of the light, uh, which is just the right amount for a bright day or a somewhat bright day um, without changing the colors. So you, everything is as accurate as possible, especially for driving or for sports um, or for touring, what I do backcountry ski touring. It's very nice to have accurate color representation. Quality. This is where something I should, should talk more about with Costa because I've tried to break two pair in the last month. When I say try to, my own accidental fault. I had a pair of the Ferg XLs on the back of my 4Runner truck and I was camping and I had the latch open and I forgot the sunglasses were there and I slammed down the latch with a lot of force because I wanted to catch and I wanted to grab my snowboard gear and go up the mountain. When it came down, it sounded like a bunch of dishes exploding. Come to find out, it had just popped the glass lenses out. They didn't shatter or scratch. <laughs> Some nuts. Uh, and the lens were still intact. They, they bounced in the, up to the front seat. The lenses fell out into the snow. I was like, are you kidding me? So I spent a couple of minutes trying to put the lenses back in. And they're still functional, so they're still on my dash. And if I think about it, I'll put a picture below, show you. They're a little messed up, but they're fully, fully functional. And for the force, I don't know how many hundreds of pounds of force that is to, for a grown human being to slam down a trunk of metal onto glass lenses, you know, speaks volumes of their quality and build quality. So give you one last look at these up close. There they are, the Paunch XL with the gray gradient lens, attractive sunglass, casual and functional. MSRP is around 230 US. I'll put links below if you want to purchase. If you have any questions, put those in the comments below. I'll get right back to you. If you have experience with Costa and you want to share that with the audience, please feel free. Put that in the comments below as well. If you like this, if you want to see more of it, more reviews from Costa coming up, consider subscribing to our Endearment YouTube channel. Link below. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Endearment. Till next time, take care.